This whole body exercise is rowing on the erg. We start by engaging the triangle of power. The first point of the triangle is the apex where the navel gets pulled into both hips. From there, we look up between the shoulder blades where the shoulders are pulling down and back. That gives the back into extension and keeps the shoulders aligned to the trunk. The bottom part of the triangle is where the glutes and the hamstrings connect at the pivotal point on the seat bones of the pelvis. To bring us into position to pick up the handle, we use the hip flexors to pull the spine forward, releasing up the back through the glutes and the hamstrings, releasing the quads, letting the spine release forward, grasp the handle, we're ready to go into the pull. As we go to pull, we're gonna push our feet through the mid part of the foot. Only after we engage the triangle of power, pull the tr transverse abs in, shoulders down, squeeze the glutes, push through the mid part of the foot, pulling backwards into the extended position. To bring us forward, release the hands forward to the knee position, pull the hip flexors, release the back half of the body, let the spine release. Now release the front half of the body, engage the push, glutes and hamstrings through the pelvis, into the quads of the knee, into the extended position. And then we release the back, pull the hip flexors, spine, release. All the while we're engaging that transverse abdominis and making the movements first. Release the back half. Now we're gonna squeeze by pushing through the mid part of the foot, squeeze the glutes and the hamstrings into extension. Keep those transverse engaged. Pull the shoulders into the extended position. Now release, release, release. Hip flexors pull, relax the spine and engage. And when we're finished, release, pull the hip flexors in, release the spine, release the handles, unclip, and the exercise is over.